Thousands of people from the Midwest to the Northeast are waking up to more snow this morning after yet another winter blast. And there is another storm coming tomorrow. Anna Werner is in Boston where the new snow is pushing the city closer to an all-time record. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Nora, and welcome to Snow Mountain. Boston is now within four inches of the snowiest winter of all time. The record was set in 1995 and 1996 season. It was 107.6 inches of snow. Well, snow farms like this one are now being used to dump and then melt that snow, that eight feet of snow that has already blasted the city. The storm hit Boston last night, dumping a new layer of fresh snow on a city still recovering from what's been a relentless winter. I do have to put plywood over my windows because the snow is up to the roof and I'm afraid it's going to crash through the window. Earlier on Sunday, five inches blanketed Manhattan, creating a picturesque scene in Central Park and a mess in the streets. Cars in nearby Yonkers were stuck in place. One needed a shove. The system also brought treacherous conditions to drivers in the Midwest. Black ice caused skidding in Missouri, tumbling in Oklahoma, and sidelined at least a dozen cars in North Carolina. Your life flashed before your eyes. I didn't know how to control my car. I was swerving a lot. Last month, parts of Maine, Connecticut, New York, and Pennsylvania plunged into record cold temperatures. Sections of Boston Harbor were frozen solid. A U.S. Coast Guard ship cut through the ice to create a path for other vessels. Ferry boats in New York's Hudson River navigated around a similar challenge. This image shows the Great Lakes. Their surfaces are now nearly 90 percent covered in ice. And back in Boston, workers are removing 950 truckloads of snow every night from the city's crowded streets. And people are using anything they can find to save those now elusive parking spots. We've had a month of storms here. Thousands of cars are still buried under snow. So residents are going to lose their parking space savers starting today. Trash collectors are going to start picking them up. Meanwhile, this snow mountain is a graphic illustration of just how much money Massachusetts has spent on snow removal this year. Nearly a hundred million dollars. And believe it or not, Gail, it could be even more money than that with another round of snow forecast for tomorrow. Gail. I believe it. That picture really tells a story. Thank you, Anna.